Ford leaked some info, so we'll tell you the name of the new Turbo Mustang. Honda's 2015 Civic Type R gets caught out in the wild, and BMW prepares the middle i-Series. Plus, you can own Lady Gaga's Rolls Royce, if you want. And we have your FLD question of the day. Hey everybody, I'm Derek D, and you're watching Fast Lane Daily on Thursday, May 15th. Cause that is today, Erica. <laughs> and tomorrow is what, Max? Friday. Friday. Fast Lane Daily on a Friday. That's right. Oh, hey, our buddies over at GT Channel launched a new series called Controlled Chaos, where they document the Falcon Tire team for the whole 2014 Formula Drift season. Check out episode one right here, and the link is in the description, of course. You want to check it out, I recommend you do. All right, we heard the rumors of a mid-range BMW i5 that would slot between the city-focused i3 and the sportier i8. Well, guess what? Car and Driver has confirmed that the German automaker is planning to roll out the new i-series in 2016. Styling will take inspiration from the i3, but there will be uh, rear doors. So, you know, it'll make access to the rear seats easier, of course. The i5 will borrow the electric power from the i3, meaning 170 horsepower, 184 pound-feet of... Torque. That's right. Range should be extended to 200 miles, and even longer if you opt for the three-cylinder range extender. You're looking at a price tag of uh, about $50,000. Although I did hear the i3 and the i8 aren't too happy with this because every time the i5 shows up at a party, he's all throwing high fives constantly like, yo, i5, in the building, i5, he's that guy. Yeah. Always high five. Ra, ra, Rolls, Rolls, Royce, Rosa, Rosa, Royce, ra, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Lady Gaga has decided to put her red 1990 Rolls Royce Corniche up for a charity auction. The 6.6 .6 liter V12 convertible is valued at between 30 and 50,000 bucks, but will probably fetch a lot more because here's a little fun fact for you. It's the only car Lady Gaga has ever owned. So a lot of fans who are in the money might be spending some uh, good amount of cash on this. The profits will go to support a charity that helps struggling artists. Huh, all right, struggling artists, huh? What classifies you as a struggling artist to receive the uh, money, to qualify to receive the money. Yeah. You know, she should just hand out money to every waiter and waitress and bartender in New York and LA and boom, there you go. There you go. That's pretty much every struggling artist. I'm painting, I can't get it done. Can I have some money? Honda's new Type R has been spied undisguised during testing by world car fans, looking a lot like the concept from the Geneva Motor Show. Aggressive front and rear bumpers, side skirts, and a massive rear wing. There's also a diffuser, quad exhaust system, and gold alloy wheels. Power, well, that's coming from a turbo two liter engine making at least 280 horsepower. This thing just screams, hey, turn me into a rally car, doesn't it? Yeah. I think it does. Just not in the US. <laughs> yeah, we're not getting it here. You want it? Too bad, America. Speaking of America, Ford. Yeah, right there's some hammers in the back there. Ford's 2015 Mustang order guide has leaked online, and from that info, we can see how the 2.3 liter turbocharged four-cylinder Mustang, we can see how it will be called. The Mustang EcoBoost. <laughs> right, Erica? Yeah. You got it. While classic Mustang fans will be, oh, that isn't a Mustang, and they probably hope Ford would revive the SVO name or take on the ST badge, but Ford favors the EcoBoost branding because Eco things sell more when it says Eco on it. Just FYI. We can also confirm three engines, a 3.7 liter V6, the turbo engine, and a five liter V8 stallion, right Tom? Yeah. yeah. There will also be a performance package option for the EcoBoost and V8 Mustangs that adds suspension and chassis tuning, bigger brakes, aluminum wheels, a 3.55 limited slip rear axle, and a bigger radiator. The GT gains a strut tower brace, Brembo brakes, and a 3.73 Torsen rear axle. Get a little nerdy on you there at the end. Yeah. Drop some numbers on you. Right? Talk about limited slip diffs and rear axles. All right. <clears throat> Time for your... What, man? What are we doing? Your FLDQ of the D. That's right. Your question of the day. And this one comes from FLD fan. Well, you know what? Let's have him just introduce himself. 
What's up, Derek Dean, the FLD crew? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm Joe Leonard coming to you from Minnesota. Nice. Hey, what's up, Joe from Minnesota? Who loves Rockstar Energy Drink? I'm assuming he's rocking that shirt. Yeah. You know? Well, uh, what's your FLD Q of the D, my man? My FLD question of the day is, let's say you have $30,000 to spend on a vehicle. Would you rather A, mm-hmm. go out and buy a new CLA, for example, or B, go out and spend right. fifteen to $20,000 and spending the rest of the money on modifications uh, to make it your own personal vehicle. All right, that's, uh, that's a good question, Joe. You asked, and I'm, I'm gonna condense this down a bit. If you have $30,000 to spend on a car, would you rather buy a car around that price or spend half of that or so on a car and modify it to your liking with the rest of the money? Well, let me ask uh, you this first. What, uh, what, would you, what would you do? I know I personally would rather go out and spend $20,000 on a car and spend the rest of the money modifying it, making it better, faster, stronger. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Def Punk, uh, I didn't recognize you there without your helmet on. I'm Joe, and I make my car harder, better, faster, stronger. Yeah. <laughs> right? That's my attempt at auto tune. You got it. All right. Yeah. Anyway, uh, well, you can answer this a few ways. A lot of people don't just have 30000 in cash to just drop on a car. If you do, then, well, you could probably get something a lot more expensive. And most people, like yours truly, make a down payment and then pay smaller monthly payments. When buying a new, when, when buying a new car, I guess you could say I'm a fan of factory tunage. Yeah. Max, tune to perfection. Tune right? to perfection. As Max would say. But I do like making small upgrades to my car, possibly an intake, maybe a nice sounding exhaust, nothing crazy. I like to do visual cues to enhance it, make it look better, unique. Yeah. Right? I think getting a, like an old car for cheap and doing stuff to that would be a lot more fun. You know, get brand new, you do a bunch of stuff, warranties out the window in case you're worried about that. You know, kind of just a project car. Definitely. You know, like Erica's brother. You buy some cars and fixes yeah. them up, old school style. Yeah. All right. But uh, to each their own, right? I mean, money is the real issue here. If you have 30, 30 large to do whatever the hell you want with, have a ball. You know what I mean? Yeah. But if you want to buy a brand new car and do all kinds of things to it, sure, do that too. It all depends on the cashish you have flowing around. So, anyway, thanks for that question, Joe. What do you guys think? Use hashtag FLDQ of the D, and you can weigh in, and you can video yourself asking a question and send it to tips at FastLaneDaily.com. We prefer YouTube link. Yeah. Uh-huh. And you know what? That's going to do it for Fast Lane Daily today. I'm Derek D, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. But before we go, let's clack it up. For, clack it up. Clap, clap it up, up for my main man, Dylan, over here. Clap, clap, yeah. It's his last day as an intern here at FLD. He did a whole... Day in the life of FLD, that will be coming out pretty soon. It's pretty cool. Oh, the cops dance. You guys aren't going to want to miss that. Yeah. So, Dylan, thanks for that, man. He's going to Spain for a month. I don't feel bad for you. All right? <laughs> All right. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Cheers. Cheers, Dill. Your mom call you that? Yeah. Yep. That's wow. What are you, a pickle? Hey, so- Dill, you stuck in a pickle? <laughs> Why don't you pop the shirt off for a blooper? Oh, no. <laughs> pop that shirt off. Do you tear it, does the button just magically pop it? Um, no, it's a, it's not snap. Oh, we're living in the fast lane, baby. Tuning in the fast lane, daily. Car magazines are old news, man. Ain't got the time for shopping at the newsstand. We're living in the fast lane, baby. Tuning in the fast lane, daily. News for the always on the go folks. Merge to the left and pass all the slow pokes. You can view how you choose to FastLaneDaily.com or YouTube. Hosted by my man Derek D. Subscribe right now. Don't just take it from me.